please check out this Bill Burr take on Kanye. So anyways, I just got to do this. You know, when you talk about race and that type of shit, you know, as a white dude, you just got to go easy, you know? It's very easily it starts feeling like a meeting, you know? Whenever I start hearing like, yeah, all right, woo! That's when I go, all right, I got to pull back a little bit. You start seeing what I'm saying. I wore a country shirt. I can't get over how awfully... This is the, you could not have found a worse, you could not have found a worse recording. It's like a recording of another recording of another recording. Like, what is this, bro? It's so scuff. So, so anyway, I just got to do this. You know, when you talk about race and that type of shit, you know, as a white dude, you just got to go easy, you know, because very easily it starts feeling like a meeting, you know, whenever I start hearing like, yeah, all right. Woo! That's when I go, all right, I got to pull back a little bit. People aren't seeing what I'm saying. I wore a country shirt. Things are getting a little off the rails here. <laughs> Can I get back to Kanye West? Half of you probably downloaded his shit, all right? All right, here we go. So my wife got freaked out because I told him, like, she was, early on, she was loving the guy. And, and I, I was thinking, you know, thinking he was cool. And then one day I saw him do an interview, and he was talking shit about how great he was. And there was just this look that was in his eye, and it just made me nervous. I'm like, dude, this guy is... Uh, this guy is like, this guy's volatile, man. There's something with this guy. He's making me nervous. This guy is like right on the edge of like snapping, right? She goes, ah, oh, you're out of your mind. And I was thinking, ah, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I think this guy's fucked up. And then I was convinced because one day I came walking in and she was listening to him do an interview and I didn't know it was him. And he was just in the middle of talking about how great he was. And I came walking in and all I did was hear this shit and like literally a chill. I know, no. no! No! And I turned and I looked before it even registered that it was Kanye. My first thought was, oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. It's just a black guy. Oh. Thank God. It's just a black guy. Yeah, now, you're right to pull back. This is right to get awkward here because you don't know where this could go. This could very easily go in a clannish direction. Okay? So just let me clarify. Just hear me out. I'm thinking, thank God it's a black guy. Meaning, thank God that ego that is in him, when that thing floated down from the heavens, or the cosmos, whatever the hell Joel Olstein shit you believe, all right? When that thing was floating down, it could have landed in anybody. Thank God it landed in a black guy. Thank God it got wrapped up in that, trapped within that. It's safe in there. No reason to worry when it's in there. Because if that ego, however, had floated down and landed in a blue-eyed white dude, there is no telling the damage that could have been done. You're talking entire civilizations wiped out, worldwide famine, the moon colliding with the earth in a black guy. Because he's just as nuts as some of the craziest well, white dudes of all time. He just doesn't have the opportunity what a weird take. Not a weird take. He's talking about, uh, he's jokingly referencing that, uh, not about like black people not being uh, good enough to be fucking, uh, powerful, more so a take on white supremacy from the exact opposite side. Talking about power, who has it and white supremacy taking, uh, keeping black people down. And it's also a joke. Don't explain the joke, bro. Except, except you know, um, the 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 part that is correct is that Kanye does have that kind of ego. The part that is incorrect is that white guys do have that kind of ego as well. And not only that, not only that, but also Kanye West being elevated and platformed by conservatives. Now that he is uh, coming out as a conservative, reactionary conservative, is going to be elevated beyond that to follow through with the madness. Right? Yeah, there's a glass ceiling on evil. You never notice that? Dude, go home, put on the History Channel. Like the top nine out of ten most batshit crazy dudes who ever walked the earth are all white dudes. Now why is that? Because white dudes are more evil than anybody else? It's a possibility. It's a possibility. We definitely got the numbers. <laughs> but I think it's different. I just think, you know what it is? Nobody's watching white dudes. All right, white dudes don't, too many of them gather and somebody pulls up, all right, break it up, keep it moving, get out of here. Getting pulled over for no fucking reason, none of that shit. You're a white dude, it's just an open field. Anything you think, 
hey, I'm going to do that. No one's stopping you. You just, yeah, you just start running. <laughs> Next thing you know, you're handing out buttons. You got your own uniform. You're starting a fucking war, right? All Kanye West is allowed to do is fuck up an award show every three to four years, <laughs> make a public service announcement a little awkward for Mike Myers. That's as far as he's ever going to get. I know, I know. You don't believe me, do. Okay. Next time Kanye's going off on himself, I'm telling you, just close your eyes, forget it's him, and really listen to what is coming out of this guy's mouth. He says shit like, I'm a genius. I'm a god. I'm Shakespeare. My biggest regret is I'll never get to see myself perform live. That's a direct quote. My biggest regret is I'll never get to see myself perform live. Dude, you put that ego in a white dude that is, it's benign in the Streisen. What's the Blitzkrieg? What's the superior race? Vienna will return to Deutschland first. <laughs> no, I'm telling you, but we're, we're okay. We're okay. It's in a black guy. Nothing's gonna happen. You never notice that shit? Crazy black guys, the, the far as they can get, they can just freak people out on the subway. They he's quite literally talking about black Israelites. Like he's literally making a joke about black Israelites, which is nearly identical. Well, maybe not. I wouldn't use terms like this, obviously, because I'm a political commentator and I'm describing powerlessness that uh, black Israelites have uh, versus, you know, or, or like black supremacist movements versus white supremacist movements. They can stand on a street corner with their book and their friends just yelling about white people. These people, they got tails. The motherfuckers got tails. They're evil. And you just cross the street. That's it. In a perfect world, Hitler never would have made it past the subway level. That's as far as he ever would have got. You would have just football, I don't know, and the door just opened. He'd just come walking through. Once they should have the blue eyes and some blonde hair and the pubes like the sun. And you're just sitting there like, okay, just ignore him. Just ignore him. Let him pass through. Let him pass through. And he'd just walk into the other part of the train. Literally a world war. Just passing through. But he was a white dude. No one watched him and his hair was flopping around and nobody gave a fuck. All right? So that's kind of like the... This is, liter this is literally all you have is get your extremist left-wingers together and hate on the white man. Get a life. Bro, you're talking about Bill Burr. I thought you motherfuckers that cry about this shit were, like, not into comedy policing. Like, what, Bill Burr, extreme leftist? I mean, I think so. Right? All leftists know is hate white man and lie. I was in blouse chat yesterday talking shit about you. Fuck yeah. I love that. We're not even going to ban him. I look away for one second to report someone, and that's what happens. Weird lesson that I learned with Kanye West. You know? Like, every once in a while, racism works. <laughs> like, 99.9% .9 of the time, it's the ugliest thing we do to one another. But every once in a while, we get lucky, and that marble, it just it rolls into the right hole. And we get off easy. We get off easy with that guy. I gotta commend you guys. You, you did well with the Hitler reference. You did all right. Nothing quiets a room. Like dropping the H bomb. At least it's been, a, it's been a few days since the last Fredophobic tangent. Yeah, I've seen it. I've seen people unironically be like, bro, he hates Italians. Like, he's being racist towards Italians.